A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Mark chapter 7 verses 1 to 13 When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean that is unwashed hands for the Pharisees and in fact all Jews do not eat without carefully washing their hands keeping the tradition of the elders and on coming from the market place they do not eat without purifying themselves and there are many other things that they have traditionally observed the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds so the pharisees and the scribes questioned him why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders but instead eat a meal with unclean hands he responded well did isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites as it is written this people honors me with their lips but their hearts are far from me in vain do they worship me teaching us doctrines human precepts you disregard god's commandment but cling to human tradition he went on to say how well you have set aside the commandment of god in order to uphold your tradition for moses said honor your father and your mother and whoever curses father or mother shall die yet you say if someone says to father or mother any support you might have had from me is korban meaning dedicated to god you allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother you nullify the word of god in favor of your tradition that you have handed on and you do many such things the gospel of the lord jesus is hard on those hard hearted pharisees who followed many laws without the mercy of god so jesus forcing them to hear what they needed to hear he told them directly that they were hypocrites and that they were the one of whom isaiah spoke in the quoted passage it most certainly was a tense scene setting aside the drama of the encounter let us look more clearly at the actual quote from isaiah it says four things those people honors me with their lips their hearts are far from me they worship in vain they present their own human laws as if they were gods what would the ideal transformation of these hypocritical errors look like if the pharisees were to completely change what may jesus say of them perhaps he would say the following your worship of me is holy because you truly embrace my divine will in your life therefore the honor you give me with your lips flows from your pure heart of faith and love so what is the key message we should take from this for our own lives we should take it from a two simple facts first the will of god must take hold of our lives and become the basis and foundation of everything his will his law his precepts are our rock foundation god has established his truth as the basis of human life and we must strive to humbly embrace his law his law includes all publicly revealed teachings of our faith found in scriptures and in the church and it includes all that we hear god speaking to us in our own lives the pharisees in their lack of humility could not see this truth instead they held on to their own ideas and convictions alone god chastened them harshly for this out of love secondly we should realize that when we embrace the divine law and his particular will for our lives we will be pure of heart and will be free to love him with outward expressions we will worship him from our hearts 
and this will flow through our words and actions but this will never happen if we do not start with his divine law and i pray may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen